We're really excited to be here. Children's Parliament works with children your age, younger, older, all over Scotland. And we always work with children to find out what's really important to them, what's important in their lives, about where they live, their community. And it's really exciting, this project, because we get to share your opinions with people who are going to make a difference in Trinent. It might not be next week or next year, but there's something going on, I don't know if you've heard of it, called Regeneration. And it's when the town centre of Trinent is going to be slightly changed and improved to cope with the fact that so many people now live in Trinent or outside of Trinent. And that means the town centre needs to also grow with the number of people. So the, the project is called Streets Ahead Trinent. Uh, today we're at Sanderson's One Primary for one of the whole class workshops for Streets Ahead and today's focus has really been on the history of the area and so we had three community members come in and tell us bits of history um, back from the draft and the riots that happened in Trinent to the mining history and to more recent events as well. Nay draft here, nay draft here, nay draft here. Nay draft here. Some of the rioters were up on the roof and one, William Hunter, was really good at dodging these bullets. He kept juking behind the chimney and lobbing bricks off the chimney breast at him. They took four shots at him and couldn't get him down. So one of the troopers snuck up the close and around the back and shot him in the backside. One of the things I want to do is have a look at the maps from the, from the massacre and battle and what we can tell on modern Trinent and see if you can recognise some of the places where you know what happened there was the rewinding narrow street and there was the Fleets pit which was between Elmerson. You know up the hill, you know how you've got Fleets Grove and Fleets Walk and Fleets Way? That's because there was a pit called the Fleets up there. You know this, the steam train? This was what we called the pug. It was just a wee black engine with the, the reek coming out of the, ch uh, the chimney and it was dragging hatches of coal from the Fleets pit down to Preston Grange. We've probably been at Preston Grange Museum. That was a pit at one time. There's still the, the shaft and the different stuff from there. So the pug went up and down the line all day long because my mother had her washing it. So it was when the pug went by, if you didn't get your washing in, your washing was covered in black suit. So every time the pug went by, the pug driver, Jimmy, would toot, 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 just like you see in um, the railway children, all these sort of programmes. And we used to have to run and get the washing in, or else you had black washing, so you had to start all over again. As the years went on, this is the cap, it's a miner, it's a regional miner's camp, a cap. There we go. That'll be on. Put it on your hand, there we go. Right, now what would go on top of that is a carbide lamp. What's that? Carbide, this is it here. Oh, is it like a thing that lights up? So you can lights see up, going? that's right. Now that's up there with that little wheel there. It, it's stuck now because it's that old. But there used to be the carbide wick be here and you'd have to flick that. Just like, remember that you ever seen your granddad with his lighters? And with yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what that was, just like flick that, the light would come, put the glass back on, and in there, you would, that's the filling hole, and that would last you the whole shift, okay? And that would be the only lamp you've got. There was a gas down the pit called methane. Methane's very explosive. That's why you ever heard they used to have canaries? You used to take canaries down the pit. They would hang the canary up, and if the canary dropped down dead, that was a signal you had to get out very quickly. I'm making sure that out of each of these three inputs from the history specialist that I have collected stories that I can remind the children about. So it's really important because everyone has got to choose something to illustrate this afternoon. We've had three amazing inputs, but it's also very important that everyone wants to respond and their imagination is kind of stimulated. So we're going to get them to choose something to illustrate from all of the input. So I'm making sure that I also know all the stories, the names of the pubs and the people, the guy that lost half the finger. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. making sure that we can feed back all of this this afternoon when we start drawing. Well, I've been drawing a picture of uh, a, a girl called Elizabeth getting shot for nothing. So she was at the foot of Well Wind, which is still in Trinant up the high street. And it was this was 1797. Uh, Isabel was swung at the foot of Well Wind and shot for nothing because they'd had a big ballot for people to go into war in the Napoleonic Wars. And people were protesting, but she didn't know that. She came down from Elphiston and she'd been sewing at the foot of Well Wind and been shot by a soldier who didn't know what she was doing. 
because he thought that she was pretending to do that. Well, basically, I drew Jackie Crookston marching with some people, hitting the drums. It was the ballot she was protesting against. Basically, just being shot while bullets coming towards her. And then she's got like the person who was helping her behind her. This half is what used to be where the bank is in Trent High Street, the Glens in. And this bit is the bank and how it is now. Well, they were doing the ballot for the people who go to fight for the wars. It's to show um, what would happen um, to children if, like, if you didn't want to do something and what would happen now if you didn't want to do something. And when you, when you didn't want to do something, um, then, then, but you would have to because they would have to go to the mines. And then when you do it now, um, you wouldn't have to because it's, it's different. So um, I've done the missing pinky of when uh, David Reed, um, well this soldier thought that there was a, a villager underneath the covers so he started whacking it with his sword and he lifted the covers and he said, oh no, it's a baby, it's just a baby. So then the baby's finger, pinky got chopped off. But ever since he's still been alive, but he's not alive just now. So that's him when he was a baby and his finger dropped off from the soldier. And then this is when, this is David Reed when he's a man, a grown man. And that's him without his pinky. So it, he's, the soldier's saying, oh, it's just a baby. And then the baby's going, wah. Yes, and it's crying. So then when he's a grown-up man, uh, David Reed is saying, missing, I've got a missing finger, but I'm still alive. My board is about the cave-in, which people are in the mine, as you can see, but they're worrying that the, 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 the top of the cave might fall on top of them, or the coal, <laughs> and they might die. So is it about William Hunt or when he got shot in the backside and fell and got stabbed by three swords. He was behind the chimney and they couldn't shoot him so a soldier came behind him and shot him and he fell into three swords. Which are the three people down there. Uh, well, I don't know um, William Smith and, uh, and uh, during the Trident massacre he got um, uh, when people were chucking rocks, he got smacked in the head by uh, one by chucking out a window, and he was trying to climb up a staircase while trying to get away. And this is the pug, and uh, this is a train. It goes up and down. The gyro is going past, and to get your washing in, and then that um, girl there um, said quick, and she got a washing in quick enough and some of it got quite black. Well, this is where the two men from uh, Trinent, um, they go to Africa, to the River N Nile, to build a bridge. And this, um, this has got crocodiles when they've built the bridge. And it, this is supposed to mean it's really hot. It says too hot. I know, I know, tell me about it on it. And connect to River Nile. by your talents, by your concentration. You can't take them home and I'm just about to... I'm going to tell you why. The but reason you. Put them that down we are... Thank you. The reason that we're now going to collect up all these magnificent billboards is that we're going to take them to the Loft Centre and they're going to be put up on the walls there and we will be working with 17 children who will be representatives from all the schools we work in. And then all these beautiful pictures are going to form the content of a huge painting that we're going to draw and paint 
in the loch centre, it's going to be 12 metres long. It's called a mural because it's going to be like a wall, and that comes from the French word for wall, which is mur. So we're going to have a huge mural here in Trenent so that people can see all of your ideas, your ideas about the past inspired by the visitors that came, your ideas about the present, and you're the experts on the present in Trenent, and your ideas and hopes for the future. So thank you so much for all your hard work today. I think you should give yourselves a clap. Well done. Well done.